And to warm us all up for maybe the end of the world, we are going to make a last word cocktail. It's really called the last word. Last call, everyone. All right. Uh, the last word cocktail is a prohibition era cocktail. You can find the recipe for it at our blog if you want to follow along, mattoblog.msnbc.com. It's a prohibition era cocktail. A, re- a cafe called the Zigzag Cafe in Seattle is credited with sort of repopularizing it. And one of my favorite things about old drinks is that they often... If they're not two ounces of something to one half ounce of something else to one half ounce of something else, two half half, they are equal parts. And this is an equal parts recipe. So you can make it any size that you want. I'm going to make a four ounce cocktail using one ounce each of fresh lime juice squeezed from an actual lime. That's important. Also, uh, green chartreuse. Chartreuse comes in uh, yellow and green and in super expensive versions of yellow and green. You can use the normal green one, but don't use the yellow one. The yellow one is like I think they for, like reformulated it for ladies or something, so it's sweeter and lighter and just not that good. So use green chartreuse. Again, equal parts of all of these ingredients. Uh, gin. In honor of Governor Scott Walker, we always use Death's Door Gin uh, because we assume that it annoys him because it's made in Wisconsin and I love it. Ounce of gin. And the one thing that might be sort of hard to find, uh, maraschino. Maraschino not, looks like maraschino, isn't maraschino. It's pronounced maraschino. It's a liqueur. It's made from, I don't know, some sort of fancy Italian cherry pit combination thing. I don't know. It's an Italian thing. It's delicious. Old Italian ladies put it on their fruit salad. Um, and you essentially take equal parts of those four ingredients and put it in your cocktail shaker with way more ice than you think. Uh, shake it up and put it in a cocktail glass that, unlike this one, has been chilled in your freezer. It's called The Last Word. Again, it is a Prohibition-era cocktail. This is a classic. Thanks to the Zigzag Cafe in Seattle for repopularizing it because it's awesome. You have to shake for longer than you think you do. End of the world. It's been a long time in coming. <clears throat> So this is our cocktail moment for the rapture. 